Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, for today, I have been wanting to do some kind of a split cup for four months now and just never really did anything with it. So, we're going to try that today in this kind of square jar mold that I have and kind of see how it goes. Now, I've already mixed up my resin and I'm just using Let's Resin's Epoxy Resin for this. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to pour each cell in this and i've got the five cell one and pretty much fill it mostly to the top with resin we are going to use some alcohol inks today and we're going to use let's resins alcohol inks in the colors dandelion yellow coffee and latte now i'm kind of doing it every other one with the colors and i'm just dropping the ink on top and then we are going to use some glitters. I've got a kind of chunky brown hollow glitter that has like oranges and greens, kind of like an autumn type feel. And then some red maple leaf glitter that I thought would be pretty cool in this. Now, this part that I'm doing now with the stirring it, don't just just don't do this. The only thing that it managed to do was make a mess and get into the resin next door to it. And it honestly is pointless. I had seen a video that Let's Resin had put out doing a pumpkin jar doing this. They, well, using a split cup, they show them putting the, dropping the inks down and then pouring it, but they don't really show the in-between. And I thought I had to mix it. You don't. You can just let your colors drop on top and then it'll go through. Just trust me. All right, so I pretty much have... All my colors kind of set. Now I did go in a little bit heavier with the yellow just because in my experience, the yellow alcohol ink, it just, it takes a lot more to kind of get that pigment in there. And I'm just taking kind of like a spoonful or two of the glitters, putting them in the cells that are open. Now these, I will kind of mix around in the resin and that's because I'm not really sure if they're going to just fall out like in one big clump or whatever. And I kind of want them separated somewhat. So I, I think that part will be fine. So we're going to go with the bottom part of it first. And I'm just kind of going for it. Like I have no idea how this is going to work. I don't know if the colors are just going to all kind of mesh into one or if there's going to be some sort of separation in it or what. I really don't know. So we're just going to kind of play it by ear and, and see how it goes. And luckily for me, this was pretty much the exact amount of resin that I need for this bottom part. Now, I did kind of have to scrape out the rest just to just to get it up there the rest of the way to fill it. Um, I like this mold a lot. The only thing that I don't like is you can kind of see on the left and right hand side how it buckles out when the resin is poured in there. And I, I'm guessing it's because it's such a soft silicone that it's doing that. And I will later on after it starts to kind of gel up a little bit harder, I'm going to put some craft sticks on there to try and push that in somewhat. It's really hard. I've tried it before and what I put on there, if it weighs too much, it kind of then indents the wrong way. So it's kind of trying to find a happy medium on doing it. Now, I did have to mix up more resin for this lid. So I am just refilling the cells on this split cup. And then we're going to do the same thing. Minus the trying to mix the colors in. Because, like I said, that was pointless. And pour it in. Now, the one thing that I didn't do on here. And it... For this particular thing, it, it honestly, it didn't make a difference because I didn't have an issue with it, but it could be an issue is I didn't stop once I started pouring to make sure there was no air bubbles in the little handle part of the lid. And that could be a problem. Now you could eliminate that if you sprayed maybe some alcohol in there before pouring, it could potentially help that, um, I didn't do it and I ended up making 
a boo-boo here later on and did something that I told myself I wasn't going to do anymore, but I did. And I ended up lifting up the entire lid mold once it was filled right after I shut off the camera. I lifted it up just to kind of check and see if there was any bubbles in there. And I told myself, don't tip it over because you're going to spill it all over the place like you've done several other times in the past. And I was like, I'll be good. I I'm, I'm aware of this. Nothing's going to happen. I will keep it straight. I just need to take a little peek under there just to make sure it's okay. And what happened? I spilled it all over myself. So I had a huge mess to clean up. So yeah, that, that, that was fun. Now for this lid, going back to the video, I could have used honestly, like the tiniest bit more resin, like maybe another 20 mLs would have filled it completely. I think it'll be fine, however. Now I am making sure to go underneath the lip of this lid, just underneath, because you can see the air that's kind of trapped under there. And I'm just kind of pushing the resin in there and pushing that air out with my dotting tool. And then I'm just gonna kind of scrape clean any excess resin that I have in there. I had a little bit of clear left that I kind of overfilled those cells with in the split cup. I'm just putting it in there clear. It'll be fine. It's it's not a huge deal. But I am trying to kind of get as much resin out as possible so I don't have to mix any more and, you know, just end up spilling it all over myself anyway. Now, as far as this goes, it's pretty much done. Um, I do want to say that I was kind of concerned about how hard this split cup would be to clean. And typically, I like to clean my stuff, like, right when I'm done. I just get a baby wipe and some alcohol and kind of clean out my cups and, and off my tools and whatnot. And I don't let it dry because, honestly... The last thing I want to have to do when I start the next day is clean up a mess just so that I can start. But this cup, for however, I I let it dry and I cleaned it out that way. And honestly, it wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be. I just pretty much, you know, pulled out all the big pieces with my hand. And then I got tape and kind of folded it over so that the sticky side was out and shoved it in each one of the cells and kind of squeezed it together and that really got the majority of it off and then just kind of you know kind of spot cleaned it where it needed to be because there was a little more like drops of resin dried on there or whatever and that was it so it wasn't horrible okay so 24 hours later here we are and it is time to demold this and i have to say that i'm kind of loving how there's like the wispiness of the various colors in this lid i i'm really digging it right now it, it screams honestly to me even though it's more of kind of like a brownie color it, it screams just kind of pumpkin spice and just autumn all the way around which i'm you know super excited to start with my fall makes like really excited you don't even understand but I did have issues getting this stupid little handle out, and I struggled with it for a few minutes. As soon as I sprayed a squirt of alcohol in there and kind of moved it around, it popped out pretty easily. So if you have this mold and you struggle with that, yes, I know alcohol should be a no-no, and you can use soapy water instead. I have alcohol because I'm too lazy to get a bottle with soapy water in it, and so that's what I'm going to use. Anyway, so... I knew all the glitter would sink, and that was one kind of thing that I was kind of hesitant on in doing it this way, but I, I kind of like it. Like, I think the lid turned out really pretty. I do how, like how the majority of the glitter kind of fell into that handle. It makes it stand out just a tiny bit more. Now, I was... After I had poured it and I was kind of looking on this lid, I noticed that for whatever reason, all the glitter seemed to fall to the four corners more so than kind of being spread evenly around the sides. I mean, it's on the sides, but it's like a buildup of it on the quarters. 
which is fine. It, it turned out better than I thought it was going to. And I do like the color kind of just fading as it goes down towards the bottom of the bowl to almost clear at the very bottom. I really like this a lot. Now, I do think it needs just a little something just to kind of break up that color a little bit. But first, I'm going to just kind of scrape off the sharp edges on the bottom of this and then we will go to kind of adding a little bit of detail to the lid and go from there. I don't know if you can see, but right where my fingers are, you can kind of see how it's bowed out. So my popsicle sticks didn't really work as well as I was hoping. I've got to find, figure out something to kind of do a makeshift something to kind of fix that. I, I don't know. I mean, it's not so evident if it's not upside down. Like you really can't tell when it's just kind of setting, but I know it's there. So it kind of bothers me. Okay. Now for the detail. So what I decided is I just want to break up a little bit on that handle. So I am going to get my gold paint pen and we're just going to go around and add just a touch of gold just around this top bit. And then I'm going to kind of break up the lid from the bottom part with just the tiniest bit of gold around that edge. I don't want to cover up any of the glitter. Like I really like the glitter in there. I think it really adds a lot to it. So I don't want to put it on the actual bottom piece of it because where I would put it at is where all that glitter is kind of compact. But I do want to have something to split it up. So we're going to do it at the bottom of this lid. Just a small line, like nothing super crazy thick. I just want to have it just a little bit just to kind of break it up, add that little bit more detail and kind of finish this off nicely. Um, that's really a wrap on this one, guys. It's kind of a short video, but I think it is... Great for maybe a beginner or if you've never played with split cups before. I mean, it worked out pretty well for me. And just an update. Premieres start on Tuesday. So the next video, August 13th at 3 p.m. We will do the live premieres from now on on all of my days. So I guess that means I got to get my stuff straightened out and stop procrastinating. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. I'm going to wrap this one up. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I will see you guys on Tuesday in the next one. Love ya. Bye. Feel the love come down. Blue elephant is strong. Together we belong. In every comment, right? You lift me to new heights. Your support, it's clear Gives me reason to cheer Blue Elephant Crew This one's out for you You make dreams come true With everything you do Each subscriber's heart Playing a vital part we share Showing how much we care Likes and shares They grow You make the channel Glow Every single View I know it all to you Blue Elephant Crew This one's a Showing how much we care